we're gonna have a hot pot mukbang. So y'all get ready. Hey, what's up everyone? This your boy Benji Assens, and you know I'm back with another mukbang. In today's mukbang, I'm gonna be trying something new. I ordered this uh, hot pot off of Amazon and um, yeah, we about to really get into it. So today I will be, this is what's gonna be in my hot pot, y'all. I got some lobster tails. I got some, um, what do you call this? <laughs> Snow crabs, cabbage, shrimp. I got some, uh, ooh, what is this? This is some ribeye steak, onions, green onions. I got these mushrooms. I believe this is called, this green stuff right here is called baby um, bok chow, I believe. I don't know about that, so <laughs> whatever it is, we're going to cook it, all right? So let's get the water going. Once the water gets boiling, uh, I'll come back and I'll season the water and we'll get to cooking, all right? Bet. So you all, this is my first time ever doing a hot pot and we're about to season our water. And I picked up this uh, seasoned spicy pot sauce from my local Asian market, as you can see right here. This is what I'm gonna be putting in the water. It looks like they gave us two packets, so we're just gonna use one packet. I'm gonna add some more seasoning to it. So let's see, what do we have here? I'm gonna add a little bit of Old Bay. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. I guess we'll do the onions. I also have some fresh garlic. This is the garlic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the crab legs in first because the crab legs is gonna take the longest. So we're gonna add a few crab legs. I'll be back in a few minutes when, um, whenever the crabs get going, all right? So let's try to put some meat on, baby bird. Yeah. Mm. 
black pepper, sea salt, get a little bit of red pepper, ooh, I hope that all of you have been doing well. I have, like, since I started this channel, I have been looking forward to seeing some of your comments. Like, there's certain subscribers, and I just, like, anticipate seeing your comments. I'm going to go ahead and put some green onions in here. I don't want to see no ribs. You know I don't eat no raw meat. Homie don't play that. <laughs> Homie don't play that shit. Come on, meat. Because I'm ready for that meat to get done. Because that meat looks so good. Oh, that meat looks good. I'm going to put some of these mushrooms in there. I'm gonna put a little cabbage in there. That shit tastes so good. Oh my goodness, this is so good. A little bit more sea salt, but it's good. Oh, that's pepper, what am I doing? I'm about to do a couple of shrimp. Butter. Shrimp. Oh shit, some of them fell into the uh, juice. Garlic powder. Oops. Black pepper. Let's put some bok choy in there. Lobster tail. Hmm. That tastes like good. Cucumber. Oh, mm, these are so good. Them is good. Yeah, man. You all, tell me what you think about this. Um, I stumbled across a video that Adrian made a few days ago, and 
it left me kind of like perplexed. It left me thinking like, is this lady serious? Is she being genuine? Or is this just another, some stuff that she does, like when she does with Be Love, like one minute she's, you know, friendly with her and the next minute she's tearing her apart. She subscribed to my channel recently and apparently she tried to leave a few comments saying uh, she liked my new intro. She said that she left some other comments and um, she saw that I had liked everyone else's comments and I didn't like hers. But what I have to say to that is I didn't see your comments because you've been blocked for so long that I just didn't see it. Believe it or not, had I known that you had good intentions and that you were trying to comment, I would have unblocked you. She said that she left me some comments and I didn't reply to the comments. And so she unsubscribed from me and she jumped on camera and said that the reason that, um, that I didn't reply to her comments was because I was gay and that I hate women. But as far as me hating women, that couldn't be farthest from the truth. The most important people in my life are women and specifically black women. And anybody knows me, knows that that narrative that she's trying to spin is not true. Now, Adrian has been blocked since um, after I made the video saying the video title is Beloved's Life Sister, Adrian Slays the Sister from Hell. Adrian responded and I wasn't upset about her responding because I do understand that when you make a video about somebody, they have a right to respond. But when she responded, she responded with just a whole bunch of made up stuff. After she made the video called me flamboyant stuff, I just simply blocked her. So when she subscribed to me recently, um, if she left a comment, I didn't see any comments because she's blocked. So she was subscribed to me, but apparently she left comments and I just didn't see them. Well, Adrian, um, I've said this once and I'll say it again. I don't have a personal vendetta against you. If you subscribed to me and left me some comments and I didn't see them, it was just that. It was just that you were blocked. But it's not because I hate women and all this other nonsense that you're perpetuating. It, it's just, it doesn't make any sense and it's simply not true, all right? Until the next video, loving your friends, your family members, and remain safe. And with that being said, I'm out.